Biosensor. So this is a COVID-19 at-home test. There's four tests in a kit. They're rapid results in just 20 minutes or less. I took this earlier today and I had the results within minutes. I uh, didn't have to wait 20 minutes to find out that I had COVID-19. There is an expiration date on here, so we're all set. This has the FDA emergency use authentication, EAU only. If you got your test through the United States Post Office Service, most likely they sent you this. There's another one that I've seen a lot on the United States Postal Service, which I might also review. Let's open up the tab and see what we got inside. Open up the box. Here are the instructions. Because you're watching this video, you probably can just toss these instructions because I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So right here, we have the COVID-19. This is the vials of liquid that you're gonna to have to use for your test kit. There's four of them in this package. It's a Ziploc package, so once you're done, make sure you zip it back up. Right here, we have four individual test strips. Here, we have the cotton swabs that you're gonna put up your nose. And last but not least, there's this little template, which comes in pretty handy, but I really honestly haven't been using it, but we'll use it for this test. I'm gonna put most of these away, because I do not need them. Let's open up this test kit. All right, we're gonna take one vial of solution. And then there's a cover that goes on top of the solution. Once again, if you haven't already, please be sure you've washed your hands before doing this test so you get the best and most accurate results possible. Now we're gonna open up the test itself. All right, so we have our vial of liquid. We have our template that we're gonna put this into, put around the dust. We have our test kit. We have the cover for the liquid. Then we have the swab. So let's get into it. You gotta take this swab and open it up. And then also open up your liquid. Once you have your liquid opened and you have your swab ready, you're gonna wanna put this into your nose and go about 15 times clockwise, then counterclockwise. And really, you know, try to get as much specimen as possible. You also wanna to try to get this as far up your nose as you possibly can, because the outside layers, like down here, it's gonna have more dirt and debris, where when you go further up, it's gonna be the best specimen you can possibly do. It's quite painful sometimes. If this is your first time doing it, just be warned. Um, you're gonna start with your right, then go to your left or vice versa. So let's get in and start picking our nose. See how far up I am? I'm also spinning it in my hand ever so slightly. Now I'm gonna go on the other nostril, do the same thing. Once that's all set, you may have some snot on there. Pick up your vial, pop it in. Not done yet. Now, we're gonna spin this around a few times. I like to pinch the bottom with my fingers and spin so it really engages the solution. So now you're gonna put your fingers at the top, put it back in, and you're gonna try to wring out as much of the test results as possible. I'm gonna put this away. Once that's all set, you're gonna take your little cover, pop it on, you're gonna get a little snap, turn around, put it upside down. And here's the fun part. Here's the test strip. Here's the hole. You're gonna put four drops in this hole. I'm also going to put up a timer so we can see exactly how long it takes for my test results to come about. Toss on a stopwatch here. Four drops. One, two, three, four. It comes out really fast. I'm gonna hit start. We'll see just how fast this takes. You can't see it on this camera, but you can see it up above. The liquid solution's going up the line. It's about to pass by the test.
All right, so we are at 35 seconds. And to be honest, I'm already seeing a clear answer here as this test is showing a positive line next to the T. Like I mentioned earlier, I got really quick results with this test. But what I'm waiting for is to see the control, to make sure the control has a line. If the control does not have a line, this could be a faulty test. I wanna see two lines. And man, does it take some time. We're at one minute, it's like a waiting game. But I don't know if my camera does justice, but right here you can see that there's a solid solid magenta line and there you go we just hit control and the control line is starting to appear it fades in slow so right there I have COVID-19 and this test took me I'm gonna round up one minute 40 seconds on the box itself it says 20 minutes so does that mean my coronavirus case is gonna get really bad really fast because it showed up that fast I mean, I really hope not, <coughs> but we will see. Let me see if I can hold this up. Maybe you don't like this test or you couldn't find it on Amazon. I'm going to put an Amazon link in my description as to where you can pick up this test if you're interested. There's a lot of tests out there and I feel like they're all kind of equal, but they're all made by different brands and different companies. So this is why I'm making these. If you want to watch another one of my test videos, Click right here. And uh, if you want to watch a video where I might compare everything else, click down here. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. And hopefully you do not have COVID-19 because it sucks. It really does suck.